What's up, guys? <laughs> the newest HackerBox just arrived. It's HackerBox 0091 Fibonacci. So, let's take a look at what's inside. <clears throat> I got a couple of just miscellaneous components, a whole bunch of looks like five millimeter e LEDs. Some more components. Oh, I'm excited for these. I've been I've been wanting eye void warranties sticker. And now I've got a patch too. Seed Studio RP twenty forty. A Cyber City Circuit. It's a voice recorder. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> and the Fibonacci. Custom PCB. That, from reading the ad, I'll show you in just a minute, will also be able to be turned into a badge. And I should be getting those parts in before too long. Bunch of surface solder or surface mounts and let's look at the card for this month Fibonacci 0091 it's the Seed Studio RP2040 the 5mm LED and the ISD 1820 recorder this will be interesting. Alright, let's take a look over at first, let's look at the posting. So, here's just the box, what it comes with, obviously. But we notice on this box there's a badge bundle. It doesn't show what's in the badge bundle here. But down here we can kind of look at what's in the badge bundle. It will be an, an exclusive badge PCB mounting for the Fibonacci spiral PCB, a battery holder, boost converter module, battery isolation switch, some more resistors for touchpad activation. Okay, that's cool. Four female five pin headers and additional male header pins. And if we look back on the instructables for this one, I believe once we get down, further down, we can see what it is, but let's go through this completely. <clears throat> we get a little explanation on what the Fibonacci is, or who Leonardo Fibonacci was. What if we were built from spirals? Some more information on the RP2040, by specifically this one by Seed Studio. How to test it, set it up. Circuit Python is the, what we'll be using. And now we see the Fibonacci Spiral Kit. So here's the assembly. And here is what the special badge stuff will look like. So it's got a an set, another custom PCB that the Fibonacci LED setup will attach to that has a lanyard hole. And it will come with everything else needed to make it work. And then finally, we have the Cyber Voice Recorder Kit. The Cyber City Circuits, this is, I think, their second time they've worked with hacker boxes. It's been, the last one was, what was it? It was the uh, Thurman. That's it. So now we will have a voice recorder by them, which will be interesting. And then their typical little sign-off. Definitely worth a look. 
Um, I do want to note, take note that for anybody that subscribes before June 1st, we'll receive the HackerBox 0091 as their first subscription box. If you subscribe after that, then you'll get 92. Um, but yeah, let's switch over and start getting, let's do the voice recorder first, and then we'll do the Fibonacci spiral. Test, 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 test. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Well, that's the Cyber Voice Recorder by Cyber City Circuits great little easy project this was this is a great starter first soldering project all through hole all simple uh, do note that the resistors in the hacker box version of this are slightly different than the video that the hacker box po uh, pointed out but he did mention that in the instructions so it's easy to see but yeah great little project uh let's move on to the next one now and get the fibonacci badge started
that's it for HackerBox0091. We got a cyber voice recorder from Cyber City Circuits with a HackerBox brand on it. As you've seen it working, it works. As mentioned before, it's a great starter project. It, there is no programming at all that we had to be had to be done for this. It's all just based on the circuit tree and this recording circuit. And then we had our Fibonacci Raspberry Pi 4020 or 2040 by Seed Studio. Great little project. Few things on this that it is a, takes a steady hand and. Lots of patience soldering each one of these. Uh, the pads are very close together. There is very little space in between them. And I don't know if you can see it, but that light shining through the hole there. I even ha I have a few places that I need to go back through and touch up. But when you're doing this, do make sure that you don't have any shorts. I had a short and it was causing uh, over voltage for my USB port on my computer, which caused some troubleshooting that really didn't need to take place because all I had to do was look back through here. So after you get done soldering them, check that there aren't any shorts. Check for no holes. I had one that uh, one hole that I missed soldering completely and so half of it was uh, just wasn't working but as soon as I soldered it everything worked. You do get a few extra LEDs so that, that'll help if you have to resolder any of them. I did have to resolder one. But other than that, it's great. Uh, they do have a board that will be coming that I will post an updated video on this later that will allow this to be a badge. It, it'll attach to the back of it. It has a battery. Works slightly differently than just the way this does. And it will attach to a lanyard. Other than that, I do want to mention it has been about a month since I've been on. But I still reached 800 subscribers, so thank you all for that. And now that I'm at 800 subscribers, I wanted to mention that at 1,000, I will be going through a tutorial of how to build one of these J. Hewitt war drivers. And in that video, this war driver that I complete, I will be giving away after 1,000 subscribers to one of my subscribers. Some other things that are on the list, if you follow my Instagram, you noticed I posted about... 10 HP minis. Ten of these guys. I will be doing a series on my home lab and implementing these into a Proxmox server. And I believe I'm going to do OpenSense router with one of them. Uh, I want to do some cute Kubernetes stuff. All sorts of stuff. And there's just a lot that we can do with them, and I will even have my first video on it will probably just be getting it into a networking cabinet because they're kind of weird for mounting them in a network cabinet. But we we are going to do that with some 3D printed parts and a 19 inch shelf. Thanks for tuning in. Leave any comments, questions. I'll do my best to answer them. We'll see you next time.